Swansea for the first time with a lineup variation. Aimed at Arnold. Quite hold on to it. This is Roland Phillips. Can stand and deliver. Locks of the knee. Ploys are centered around him as the pivot. Back in he goes again. He drive it open side this time. This is typical knee work. It is Phillips that comes away. Then it's Bridges. Williams is there. So quickly there. Again the drive on. This is the captain, Kevin Phillips. Standing off is Martin Morris. The support from Bridges again. Llewellyn is nearby. But Williams, the prop forward, again takes it on. Kevin Phillips stood wide here in space. Morris, no real room there, but Swansea were outside. Great play by the Neath forwards. Some tremendous ball in runs there, and also some good ruck ball for Chris Bridges to use. As Phillips takes it on, has found some space, now finds a tackler. Again, it's driven over, but Bridges just delaying that pass a second. This is Mark Jones in the out and half position. Swansea have taken that nicely done. And finally, he had to kill that. This time it's Swansea to take it quickly. A chance for Bradshaw. That's way past ball. Lovely work by Bradshaw, the winger. But finally, run out of support. Still, Neath, no, had thoughts of opening that wide. But Thorburn hasn't found touch. Will Mark Wyatt attempt to drop kick a goal? No, it's Mark Titley on the scissors. Checks and then decides, well, was that late? The referee is looking around and whistles. And we'll have a word with Mark Jones. Well, it wasn't all that late. Very difficult for a big man to stop. But certainly, Clyde Norling thinks it worthwhile just to have a little warning word. Mark Titley sees the spaces. Blocked it there, comes back on the inside run, up and under. There's record him late. Dangerous tackle. Mark Wyatt with 133 points for the season, a chance to open Swansea's account. And successfully done by the Swansea fullback. Mark Wyatt, three points to his credit already in the game. Lots of options open here for beneath three quarters. Well, Lefty won't be pleased with that pass, but the support from Phillips again. So quick and effective. As Williams then drives it on, then to ground, turns the ball into a ruck. This is a chance with Jones standing off the outside half, runs at the heart of that Swansea de defence. Again to Bridges, again Edmonds this time the outside half roll. As it Bateman straightens the support from Thorburn, this is Leighty. Again Thorburn. He's a big man, difficult to stop, and keeps the momentum going forward. Just lost the thrust for the second, and going laterally rather than straight up field. Still they maintain the drive, though. The tightness, the discipline is still there, but finally, Norling whistles for a scrum. That was good play by Mark Jones because he took two men out in the midfield, but rather disappointingly, Neath had a lot of overlap. They, they moved the ball and they went right across the field. Neath obviously confident of their scrum. They've kept it on two successive occasions. And just watch Mark Jones and the power being driven in there. The knees flex and then the drive. And Jones goes again and this time does succeed. Second time lucky for the number eight and scores the game's first try. Good scrummaging by Neath and when the hell Mark Jones picks up, runs at Bradshaw the corner, has got no chance and the number eight is over. Well, all sorts of options open here for Robert Jones. Decide that left is the better one. And this is Bateman taking advantage of in different handling, Roland Phillips, then Jeremy Pugh. The forward so closely knit. Keep driving on. Now it's finally delivered. It's a big run space here for Leite with Thorburn just next to him. Edmonds has gone on the angle. Thorburn is the man that takes it on. Still on his feet. Now Morris arrives. Brian Williams is there. So is Thorburn there. 
Phillips has, has arrived, Jeremy Pugh, now it's delivered, lots of space out wide, Phillips decides to go on, he'll score, well, they don't come much better than that, if teamwork is the main principle of rugby, they virtually all of them handle that ball, and Roland Phillips scores the try. Great play by Neath, they moved the ball, Thorburn did it magnificently well to stay in his feet, he created that along with Brian Williams, Roland Flynn stood out over a magnificent try. This needs to be tight to discipline to clinch a will in, jumping at two, is the favourite to take this. Well, it didn't pay off because it went too long, and Swansea have won it and they set up a drive, it is good from Swansea, they can now deliver the ball, but they've lost it. Well, Williams had done some amazing work there, but Martin Morris's hands not quite able to support it. Still, Norling waiting for, for advantage, finally whistles and gets them to form a scrum. Well, conditions getting from bad to worse here. It's now raining heavily. Strong wind at the backs of the Swansea team as well. As Jones spots a little space, the pass not quite to hand. Paul Williams, well, how did he get through there? Very nearly a superb pass, but Swansea take advantage. Jones, and that could be a try, a chance here. Yes, Mark Wyatt. Well, out of nothing really, lots of confusion. And no real constructive play from either side, but Mark Wyatt alert. And spotted his chance and gets Robert Jones goes on a little darted run looking for back row support and Neath seemed to have bottled that up it's loose ball anybody's ball and they hosted after this very well Paul Williams look right through his own pack and it seems that there's a counter attack on there delayed his pass that fatal second and that's where I think they lost the try good play by the referee just watch all in here he looks for the pass Robert Jones is backed up and there's where the winger Jason Ball knocked the ball back towards his own line Wyatt, ever alert, takes the opportunity well. Good optimist try. Wyatt, having scored his third try of the season, attempting his 32nd successful conversion. So, that puts Swansea now into a one-point lead. Well, the lights are on, it's pouring down with rain. Still... It's on with proceedings for the players. Just a point ahead, Swansea. With four minutes remaining of this, the first half, they need to increase that if they can. Here's a chance then. Clement decides on a drop kick at goal. That will be close. That is close. That's successful for Clement. His second drop goal of the season. And so important, so close to half time that Swansea increased that lead that little bit and so they're now four points ahead Swansea do well to win that line up Robert Jones digs it up but look at Clement takes his time wipes the ball bangs it and for the moment he left his boot it was a magnificent struck kick three points straight down the middle Neath have positioned their centres left of the scrum acres of space to the right and Paul Williams stood so close, he might even join the scrum to drive it over should they decide to go, and they do. Watch those knees flex. The concentration, the power. Again, it's in control from Mark Jones. And Swansea really can do nothing about this. And Norling, in fact, decides on a penalty try. Neath scrimmage very well this afternoon underneath the Swansea post. Ball, first of all, is controlled by Mark Jones at number eight. And then we see the second surge. There's the drive of the legs, and they, they power their way towards the Swansea line. I'm not quite sure why he gave the penalty try, because Swansea didn't collapse the scrum, but they were going backwards at a rate of knots, and a try really did look on. There's where they seem to be going over. The ball's there. Mr. Norlin there has blown up and awarded a penalty try for some reason. I'm not quite sure why. And that penalty try was converted by Paul Thorburn to give Neath a two-point advantage at the interval. We now rejoin the game some way into the second half. Two sevens at the back, Martin Morris and Alan Reynolds. 
Llewellyn wins that. The ever-present Williams retrieves it, but not successfully this time because this is Stuart Davis. That's a good run from the all-white number eight. Needs to be quickly delivered. This is Parfit, delicately done. Well covered by the neat scrum half. Lovely play from Bridges. Neath can now swing it left. There's lots of space out wide. This is Thorburn. You see, decides that a kick into space is the better tactic. Titley will have to run it into this wind. Gets away from Bateman. Good work from the right winger. Gets over the gain line, sets up his forwards. This is Davis. Prop forward. Jones, the captain. It's like seven aside here as Ian Davis takes it on. Clement finally decides that that's enough of uh, all action play. Well, and that proved probably the wrong option to take. Again, it's not cleanly delivered. Bridges won't thank his forwards for that. And Swansea again take advantage. Again, well, Clement this time decides to run. Offers Titley a chance to run at the opposition. The right winger is free. Lovely timing of the pass. Clement, no one close to him to take it on. Really needed people closer than that. Finally arrives. This is Jones. Well, hands let Michael down. The referee decides that it didn't go forward. Again, it's taken on. This is good Swansea pressure. Neath legs stopping that coming back can you see Ian Davis trying to remove that still Swansea win it Arnold plays scrum half this time and Clement again looks for the blind side before finally well that would be blown back yards and yards well collected by the kicker himself and then finds himself swamped by a wave of black jerseys the Wales Swansea captain Robert Jones places steps away wants a pass from Stuart Davis just to give him that extra yard well it's all a bit static finally though Titley creates space for Bradshaw can he use well very nearly done excellent work by Bradshaw very nearly cleared the defence took them into thinking he was going to kick and kept going Robert Jones steps but not a good pass from Clement but watch the work of Titley there he comes from the, the side and watch Bradshaw seems to kick his left foot but goes on the outside lovely pace but a desperate ankle tap forces him into touch Mark Jones and Paul Arnold are the two at the back of this line out and that's won by Roland Phillips Ken Williams Brian Williams comes away with, with it so effective really monopolizes the ball in those close in situations loves to have a run with the opposition three quarters Martin Morris stands off ready to take the short flat pass again again Neath decide to roll it it's on its way though and Morris finally enters the fray to see whether that ball can be released. It is finally, as it's taken on by Edmonds. Williams again takes it on. Neath just overdoing it, perhaps, and offering Swansea a glimmer of hope. But this is Bridges, supported by Peel. The pass is in there for Williams, and the out and half crosses for a try. It did take some time in coming, but finally, all that hard work bears fruition, and Williams the try. And Neath had to come, tremendous pressure, half-backs involved, prop forwards involved, and it's great that Jeremy Pugh, a prop forward, he deserves that, they've worked ever so hard, and Paul Williams goes over for the try. Six points to Neath advantage, and that's a sad sight, or a worrying sight for Welsh supporters, bearing in mind what is to take place next Saturday at Twickenham the Welsh number 8 Mark Jones leaving the field replacement Paul Varney Roland Phillips has taken over that number 8 role Bridges' his tactics are the same Bradshaw claims it can't mark it 
Good work by Swansea to get back into that position. They haven't reclaimed it. As Bridges to Williams. Bakeman again avoids a tackle, it avoids lots of tackles. The support from Williams, the outside half. This is Peel with a prop forward, Varney queuing up, and so is the other flanker, Martin Morris. Excellent work. Well, the support, that's the basis of back row play. And Varney and Morris there, so eager to take up the challenge. And Morris gets the try. A loose pass in midfield, but I like the running of Alan Bateman. He's very tricky, he's very fast. Coming back, looking for support, and doesn't it come in the shape of some forwards? Lovely tight pass, Paul Williams, dummy, but look who's supporting. There's a prop forward, number three. There's the flank of Varney, who's come on, number three. And there's his other partner, number seven, Matty Morris. Great play by three forwards there. Excellent try. And some lovely passing, Paul Williams involved. Sees that the gap is closing down, she's looking for support. And up comes Pooh, always looking to handle. A lovely tight pass to Varney. There's Morris on his side. All good backing up, all good passing. Well worked, Troy. Marvellous play by Neath. That Neath lead now is ten points and hard work from Swan for Swansea from here in. Well, it's so untidy at the lineup. And this is Davis, the number eight, that takes it on. Good support again. This is Robin Jones, just squeezed out. Swansea with a lot of line-up balls, Stuart Davis going on the charge, good play by the flanker Jones, good towards the line, but excellent defence, and there you can see he's taken out in the corner. Interesting that Neath have decided on a two-man line-out, will need to be flat and quick if it's to be long. Well, it's well done, because Shawellin was there to clean up, and then Thorburn in position just to get the ball as far as possible downfield, but it offers Wyatt, well, a chance to dummy and then put a ball into space, lots of space though for Bridges, lovely pass from the scrum half, here's a chance for Edmonds, the man has pace, and just offered a little bit of space, so dangerous, and, of course, Brian Williams is there in support, so is Roland Phillips, this is superb, this is Martin Morris, can he get there, Clement is chasing, yes, oh, dear me, well... We've seen some good tries this afternoon, but few better than that. Superb. There's Wyatt, looks for the counter-attack, puts the kick in, heavily tackled there, but this is truly remarkable work by Neath. Moved on, Paul Thorburn, out to Edmonds. Coming inside, and we've said all afternoon about support play of the Neath Pack. There's Brian Williams, I think he's been absolutely magnificent this afternoon, like a back row forward. There he's into Roland Phillips, lovely time pass. Now, just remember, there's number 10, and out and half chasing Marty Morris. Tremendous determination, and his momentum takes a great try by Marty Morris. So, with 20 minutes to go, Swansea 14 points adrift. Well, this is ball playing scrum half, but Bakeman decides to put pressure on Swansea. Williams fails to gather. Ryan Williams, like a magnet, the ball comes to him. The other Williams to Leite, this is space for Thorburn. Looks for the handoff, still going is Thorburn. Still going, now gets it away. And amazing, the Leite again in support. Really, so many of these people can hold on to the ball, delay the pass until the vital second, and there it was Leite that got the prize at the end of it. And he's running rampant here now this afternoon, and Thorburn having an excellent game, showing his attacking prowess, coming in the line. He's got speed, this man, but he's also got strength, and he's created the try. Look, he's staying on his feet, but still makes the ball available. Tremendous strength, a little pop, Colin Leite supported him, very strong centre, he's not going to stop it from there. And here's a chance for Bridges. Well, that is the sign of so much pressure. Really, it seemed that Swansea had good clean possession, but overcomplication. And Bridges really takes the gift, scores a try that takes Neath absolutely out of sight. 
Jason Ball for a chance to convert that Bridges try and the first successful conversion of the second half. The last few seconds of this match as the two Phillipses again combine. And this is Thorburn at outside half. Leite, short little pass into space for Edmonds. He's got men coming up outside him. Gets past the first defenders. Superb hands from Thorburn. The fullbacks triumphantly over. And that really drives home the point. If it needed to be driven home, how superior this lead side is at this point in time. Again, superb interplay. And no wonder Paul Thorburn has the broadest of smiles. A magnificent try, well created, good ball from the line out. But it's all about the timing of passing. Thorburn, I watched a little pass from Leite to, to Edmonds. That created the try. A huge gap. I thought Edmonds should have passed it. Two men outside here, but he's the leading try scorer in Wales. I think he's looking to add to the tally. But when he's tackled, there's Paul Thorburn. He started in from outside half, gathers the ball, and that is truly a wonderful Neath try again. And Rona Phillips have an outstanding game. But it's the pass in midfield that creates the try. There it comes to Leite. And look at Edmonds timing his run to perfection. And a gap opens wide. I thought he should have put the ball in both hands. But no, running with the ball in one hand. Men on his right, but lovely break. Inside and outside. Left the defender, but dead. I look at Paul Thorburn screaming. He says, let me get into the act. And he deserves that. He's run. He shows he can move. Shows he's got pace. And that is another great neat try. Jason Ball with a relatively... Simple looking conversion, successful for the second time. And a final scoreline here then of Neath 42 to Swansea's 12. Winning margin has to be a pleasing afternoon, Kevin Phillips. Yeah, it's got to be pleasing with uh, Swansea playing as well as they have been in the past, winning 13 out of 14 games, I think. But uh, we expected a tough task and we had it. Fair play to Swansea. First half hour, they give everything they had. And eventually they cracked in the second half, and Neath played very well. So many good tries, and probably the, the best one, the one to Mar the second one to Martin Morris. Yeah, I think uh, well, a few boys handled Brian Williams, especially up the touchline, and passed in to one of the other boys, and Martin Morris just got up over from the 25 yards out. Your captain for next Saturday is Robert Jones. Not quite a pleasing afternoon uh, today, Robert. But thoughts of next week then. Um, no, not, not uh, tremendously pleasing today, but uh, in fairness to Neath, uh, they played some outstanding rugby and uh, were deserved winners at, at the end of the day. But uh, obviously now we've got to look forward to uh, the international uh, a week today. And um, our thoughts of obviously this week got to be uh, plugged on that one particular task. And uh, I think if we show the commitment that perhaps Neath did today and uh, the basic skills that they showed, uh, we can uh, pull a good result out, out against England. You have this man as your, as your vice captain, and you're hoping that he'll set the same example. Mm. Yes, uh, Kevin on many occasions today uh, got uh, his forwards going, and um, they streamed forwards and streamed at us, and eventually wore us down. So um, mm. I think uh, he will be showing, I'm sure he will. He's, he's done it uh, in the past, I'm sure he'll do it again next Saturday. And the dual role you have of uh, the strong English scrum will be, have to be counteracted, and that line-out. Yeah, I think, well, I think the biggest problem is our line-out will uh, vary it around and uh, we'll see how it goes from there. And positive thoughts between the two of you? Yes, uh, quite well, confident. I, I th yeah, I think you've got to be quietly confident. Um, but I, we certainly won't underestimate the strength that uh, England have got and have shown in uh, their recent performances. But uh, we'll go into the game um, looking to, to, to play and use the potential that we have. And uh, if we do that, I can't see why we wouldn't have a good result.